Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day that I'm going to tackle my laundry closet. I'm getting rid of those wire shelves. I'll be painting and just refreshing the entire space. Um, this actually takes place over a couple of days just because there's painting involved. So hang out with me and I promise you're going to love the end result. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell because there's tons of home refresh videos that I have coming up and you don't want to miss them. I definitely appreciate you stopping by my channel today. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get into this video. I have removed those awful wire shelves and now I'm just filling in all of the holes so that I can paint. Now that everything's dry, I have to go and sand all of the walls just to make sure everything is nice and smooth and prepare everything for painting. I am using the same color that I have all over my house. It's the Valspar Gravity is the name of the color. I like it because it's very um, light and airy. It's not, you know, too light, not too dark, not too gray or too blue. I just happen to really fall in love with that particular color. And I will also insert it so that you're able to see as well. So it's probably obvious, but painting is really not my thing. Um, it's just not. Now I can do backsplash, stain wood, you know, things of that nature, but just painting, mm -mm, it's not for me. But I was determined to get this done and it's a small space, so I just had to power through it, but it's really not my thing. So guys, so many things went wrong during this whole little refresh. I would have never thought that so few square feet could cause me so much anxiety. So there, I didn't plan on buying a new laundry set, but I had no choice because there was just another code and another code that popped up on my dryer and I just got tired of like buying this part or whatever. But it was a great set. It lasted for a really long time. Um, one good thing is that my sister was moving and she had recently purchased a set that she no longer needed so I just took that off her hands. So it all worked out but yes, it was very rough.
So after getting the set into my house, um, we realized that we had to do a plug conversion and parts were sold out. It was just crazy, but we finally found it at a Home Depot and then we had to get a new hose um, for the washer because there was like a leak and uh, it was just a mess. I just, I, there was a point where I just wanted to give up and just save money and go to the laundromat like I was over it I just I wanted to give up I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure about myself when I met ya So finally, after the painting is done, we install a support beam so that we can balance the cabinets correctly. I messed up on the cabinets as well. I was originally going to do an entire row of cabinets, then I decided on two with a bar for hang drying and I mismeasured the doors, but you'll see how I fix that in a moment. I actually ended up liking the beam, so I um, stained it using the special walnut color, which is um, by Minwax, I do believe. And then I get the cabinets installed, and things start to look up. So now I'm just getting my fabric softener as well as my laundry detergent into the glass containers that I want to store in. I really am trying to continue with my little farmhouse theme in the laundry area. So um, to fix the mishap with the doors, I actually got some kitchen curtains. I was able to order them from Amazon. They were a little too long, but I did use hem tape to create the perfect length. I, was, I also found the Buffalo Check um, rug on Amazon as well. That is my new laundry set. I like to keep those laundry baskets there because it's easy for me to just get the clothes from the dryer in a fresh basket and send the hampers back upstairs. So those are the curtains. I just installed them using a tension rod and I got that laundry sign from Hobby Lobby. They had 50% off. These little baskets that I installed to the beam 
are just to hold my laundry balls and dryer sheets. And then there's just another laundry sign that I happen to really like. It's very fitting for the moment. My laundry routine is all over the place. And there's a second cabinet. And in these cabinets, I just store my laundry detergent, fabric softener, bleach, things of that nature. And then I put all of my cleaning products in the other cabinet along with paper towels. I did go back to a top loader, which I was planning to do that anyway in my next set. In those baskets, I'll just store things like lost and found because I'm always finding something in the pockets. So this is just a look back on where we started with this horrible laundry closet. And I am actually very proud of how things turned out. So I actually do love doing laundry again. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today during this laundry room refresh. I will do my best to link everything below. Like I said, most of everything was purchased from Amazon and a few things from Hobby Lobby. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell. I'll catch you in the next one. Mwah.